Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Once again, different setup because I am in a different place again. I am actually right now in Montreal, visiting here for the weekend with Peter, and we are hanging out at our friend's place. We're actually staying here for the weekend. We came here with the brand for a press trip, and then we asked to extend for a few days, so we just popped into our friend's place to visit here. But I figured while I was here, I might as well film a video for you guys, just because, you know, I always struggle to find good lighting at home and whenever I have a different space that I can film in, I try to, just to give you guys better lighting. So I hope this space is a little bit brighter for you guys typically. I want to shoot in one of the study rooms in my friend's condo building, but unfortunately they're all busy right now. So we'll see if I'm able to film the outfits that I've created afterwards for this video for you guys in the study room. But let's just jump right into today's video. Last time I did a fall edition of this, which was 10 pieces and 20 outfits. And I decided I wanted to do the similar thing again, but for winter. Honestly, if I was to create this truly for a winter outfit, I probably would have the same jacket on for every single outfit. But because you guys also take off your jackets when you go indoors and you wear your outfits indoors, I figured let's do 20 outfits for indoor purposes. So please ignore the fact that I am not wearing like real true winter clothes clothes in this video. These are just like kind of warmer-ish styles that you can wear for winter. Obviously they can be transitioned into fall or spring as well, but this is roughly what I've been wearing for the past month or so for winter and thank god we're now surpassing probably one of the coldest times of the year in Toronto and going into March. I cannot believe how quickly February has flown by, but before I keep yammering along and make this intro longer than it needs to be, let's just talk about the pieces really quickly and then I'll show you all of the outfits that I've created. So I've noticed that within the past couple of months I've been more drawn towards neutral colors, so I picked up a bunch of different neutrals and there's a ton of different textures as well. Great for mixing and matching for anybody who has like a capsule wardrobe situation and because I've been trying to do more of like a conscious buy and not necessarily like a low buy but a conscious buy in the sense where a lot of my clothes will rotate well into my closet for the rest of the year I have really been enjoying creating these videos where I have a bunch of different outfits so I'm gonna jump right in and I'm gonna show you the three pairs of pants I'm gonna be using for this one first off we are going to take a look at these brown pleather Zara leggings that I got these ones are really cute I think they have them in a bunch of different colors right now there's like a black version I think there's like a tealy green version and the nice thing about these ones is that they actually have a zipper on the inside of the sh shin calf area so you can actually wear this in a bunch of different ways which is great because you get versatility with that you can wear it like a legging where it's fully zipped up and skinny or you can unzip it and kind of open it up and wear this over a pair of boots for more of that kind of like split leather trendy street style look I love 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 this color because I don't have a pair of leggings in brown just quite yet or even like pleather pants I have a ton of black pleather leggings and now that I'm on the hunt for black pleather pants, I've acquired quite a couple. So I'm just happy to try something a little bit different. And this kind of like breaks up the color and brings more, I guess, color into usually a drab winter wardrobe. So these are pants number one, or I guess bottoms number one, because they're not really pants. Bottoms number two or pants number two, I actually am gonna show you guys a pair today that I will be returning and exchanging for a different size, but I did not get the chance to buy the new size just yet. That's why there's tags still on this one. And these are the black pleather pants from H&M that I ordered online. You guys may have already seen that video because I think I'm gonna be uploading the H&M Spring Haul before this video. But these are a pair of high-waisted black pleather pants. I like them because they cinch in at the waist, which makes it really easy to wear crop tops or crop sweaters with this. Also layers really well. It doesn't sit low on the waist like my Zara ones do. And they kind of taper in at the bottom of the pants as well. So you can tuck these into shoes if you really want to, or just kind of wear them with sneakers. Obviously in the winter time, don't expose your ankles if you don't need to. I like to wear actually these with thick socks and my chunky platform Doc Martens, the Jaden 8s. But in the summertime, you can wear this with sneakers and kind of like show off your ankle, even roll up the bottom a little bit to give more ankle exposure to kind of elongate your legs. Love, love, love these pair of pants. So, gonna be wearing this one in the video and I will be exchanging it for a bigger size when I can in the store. Third pair of pants, I'm actually wearing them right now, so I can't really show you them holding them up, but it is these pair of Levi's. These are the 501 skinnies high-waisted and I think they're kind of cropped at the bottom so they taper in really nicely and fit really really well you cannot go wrong with a pair of high-waisted mom jeans everybody needs them I am so glad that I actually finally snagged this pair for myself I've been wanting a pair of Levi's 501s for so long and I don't know I just never got the bullet because I felt like they were really expensive but then when I walked into Nordstrom Rack one day I found like a whole rack full of them and they were on sale for 50 bucks so I scooped them up and I am obsessed with these and I really like the vintage 
kind of fading in this pair of pants because it kind of gives you that like really 90s early 2000s vibe so the more you wear them the comfier they're gonna get the looser they're gonna get and honestly i bought this pair primarily because i wanted to replace the redone levi's that i ripped a hole in in florida so yeah i wore those ones to death i probably will also wear these ones to death because they're so comfy nice and high-waisted but not too tight Pro tip to you guys, if you wear Levi's, I don't know if you're like me, but me and Mel both have to size up a full size when wearing Levi's. I think because the jean material is so thick and tight, there's not a lot of give. So if I size up, I'm very comfortable in it. And I don't really care what size I am as long as my jeans fit me. But I'm typically a size 24, 25 for reference. And I go for size 26 in Levi's so they get a nice comfy fit and I can still move my legs without feeling like I'm super constricted everywhere. Like I need to be able to bend down at the waist. I need to be able to squat in these and to also bend my knees properly without feeling any pain. So that's my pro tip. If you guys are looking for Levi's, go up by one size to get a better and comfier fit and it does not look baggy. So we're now going to move on into the top section. This one is from Guess. And once again, it has like a slight balloon sleeve, but this one has your typical kind of like collar. So you actually can wear this into work and it is very appropriate for a professional setting just because of the starch white collar. Now, the other thing I want to show you guys is that at the waist, oh my God, I think it's better if I show you from the back. At the waist, it kind of like cinches in and has this band a little bit to give you like a slight peplum -y type of waistline. And it flares out at the bottom really sweetly. Although this is a little bit more fashionable, still very much office appropriate. So you guys can wear this on its own if you like. But I'm gonna be layering this with a bunch of different pieces for this video, just to show you guys the different options you can get from this top. We are halfway done with the pieces. The next two pieces are gonna be layering ones. And as you guys know, I am really having fun with layering right now. I think I'm gonna actually make another video that's all about how to layer and mix and match pieces. I recently picked up this sort of like little bralette bandeau situation from Zara and you guys can probably wear this in the summertime on its own if you really want to with a high-waisted pair of shorts but I like to pair this actually over top of my blouses because it gives that really kind of early 2000s layered look where you wore tank tops over your t-shirts but this is the more crisp version because you're wearing like a bustier bralette type of situation over top of a starched white shirt I don't know it looks cute not gonna lie I kind of look like a waiter when I wear this like a vest, a black vest over top of a blouse, but I love the look and I think you guys can enjoy it too. Pick this one up. It's actually sized a little bit bigger than the regular sizing. I got this in the extra small, but if I was to wear this alone, it actually fits me more like a small medium. And I think it's designed that way so that you can layer over top of things because if you're gonna have a loose t-shirt or a shirt underneath, you need space for this to layer over top so it's not like too tight and making your chest area really tight and weird. So that's that. And one other one, I separated this from a knit set that I recently bought from Zara. Been obsessed with it, been wearing it everywhere at home because it's so comfy, but it is the tank top that goes underneath. So I have this pair of shorts that match and a cardigan that also matches as well. And I've actually been layering this one over top of my blouses recently to give it more of like a textural winter look. Knit materials are great for the winter time because it keeps you warm, but you never think about wearing them in a summer type of silhouette and then layering it off of like a very clean, classic silhouette like a blouse. And if you do, it gives you that very like nice corset-ish look. I know it's not a corset, guys. You guys tell me all the time, every time I label things incorrectly, this is not a corset, it's just a layering piece, but it gives you kind of like a corset look. And I've been really enjoying that so far. So this is also part of the 10 items. So the last kind of like top that I'm gonna show you guys is actually this long sleeve turtleneck right here. I love this one. This is so nice and comfy. You've probably seen me wear this in so many previous outfits already. You cannot go wrong with a black turtleneck. This is one of the heat tech ones from Uniqlo. I wear this underneath sweaters all the time in the winter whenever I'm traveling, but I also wear it as a shirt on its own because it's so nice and light, but also very warm at the same time. And it's not too overly thick. And the turtleneck is not like a really big long one. It kind of just like sits here nicely. So this is one of the shirts I'm gonna be wearing. I will be layering other pieces over top of it and kind of also showcasing to you guys how you can stay warm, but still look trendy in the winter time. And because it is a heat tech top, it's gonna keep me very, very warm for the winter. Second last one I'm gonna show you also came from my H&M haul. And it is this kind of, I guess, pleather cardigan shirt situation. Wow, I just looked at the tag and this is actually a PETA approved vegan material. Water-based product and has been produced without DMF. I do not know what DMF is, but looks like it's good. So this is what the pleather cardigan jacket thing looks like. It's like a, 
a shirt, I guess. I actually love this one because there's also pockets in here so you can put things in here or put your hands inside. The only thing that I would mention is that this pleather is not the softest. So you may have to wear it in and make it softer as you go. But just keep in mind, it's going to be a fairly boxy fit because it's not a soft leather. But I like it because it actually accentuates like your shoulders, gives you more of that like masculine boy look, which is pretty trendy right now. And it fits nicely over top of anything you layer underneath because it's quite spacious. So loving this one, you can wear this either as a jacket or as a shirt on its own. Another top I'm going to show you guys that I have been obsessed with recently are the Razorback Zara bodysuits. These are so, so, so good. I have this one and I also have a brown version and I kind of want to get the beige and the cream one as well because they fit so nicely. They accentuate the shoulders beautifully and they also have a double layer in the chest area so you can get away without wearing a bra because you guys know I never wear a bra. But I have to mention that they're super soft as well, not itchy, which is great. For those of you who are lazy and don't like to tuck your shirts into your pants constantly throughout the day, this is a winner here. You're going to want to pick up this. And not only can you wear this in the wintertime, but also in the summer, fall, spring, every single season because you can also layer or wear this alone. I have been layering this actually with these high-waisted jeans so much and just throwing a jacket over top for the wintertime or like a cardigan, keep myself warm. And if the cardigan slips off on your shoulder, you know, I get that kind of like sexy shoulder exposure a little bit there so which is why i kind of really like this one a lot and yeah this is gonna be one of the pieces in the collection of 10 pieces i'm going to show you guys to build this 20 outfit capsule collection very last piece i'm going to show you guys is this cardigan that i got from zara a couple of months ago it is the softest softest thing in the world when it comes to zara the materials are really touch and go you can either have like a really soft fabric or really itchy knit and this one i actually lucked out on and it ended up being like a super super soft knit i love it because it's a little bit cropped i have a ton of long slouchy sweaters and like really really long floor length ones so i wanted a slightly shorter one that i could wear with some clothes without feeling like i was dragging a cape around with me everywhere and this one hit the nail on the head perfectly i love the buttons on this one because it has a nice tortoiseshell detailing so it kind of like spruces the outfit up a little bit and besides that super soft so i've been loving this one so much recently so now that i've showed you guys all the 10 pieces let's just jump right into the video where i can show you all the 20 outfits that i've created and put together
hope you guys enjoyed the lookbook that I put together creating 20 outfits with 10 pieces. If you guys are doing a capsule wardrobe situation this winter time, hopefully this gave you some ideas as to how to mix and match your pieces that you already have in your closet. I've been really loving this series because it's been forcing me to really reshop my own closet at home so I'm not constantly buying new things. I know I did show you guys a lot of new pieces in this collection purely because I picked them up recently, but I've been trying my best to not buy as much as I used to and to really pull outfits with existing pieces in my closet already. The one thing I do want to be transparent about is that it's really hard with my job to be able to show you guys all of these different outfits with only pieces that I have existing in my closet already just because I can't link back to them to share with you guys where you can get it for yourself if you would like to, which is why I incorporate a lot of new pieces in, but I always try my hardest to mix and match any of my existing closet into these outfits if possible, just to show you guys what you can already do with pieces that you may have in your closet at the moment. So I hope I gave you guys some inspo for the winter time and I hope you guys enjoyed those outfits. I will be back in the spring with like an updated version of this with more like, I guess, spring appropriate clothes in a couple months time. But it seems like spring is right around the corner so you may see a video a little bit sooner than three months from now. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you haven't followed me on Instagram or Twitter yet, make sure to follow me right here. I post quite daily on both platforms so you'll get more updates from me there than from YouTube. And if you guys wanna shop my closet, I just recently open up a Poshmark, you can check out my handle here and make sure to follow along there because I don't really announce whenever I post new things, but if you guys want first dibs for stuff that I list so you can scoop them up before other people buy them, make sure you follow along on there. And let me know what your Poshmark username is because I may follow you guys back because I want to look for things to purchase as well. I'm trying to do a very conscious buy this year where I'm recycling and buying more used things and constantly buying fresh all the time, but that's my goal for the year. I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you in the next video. Bye!